it going? It's Tim Brown. And Matt Anderson. And today we're talking to you about the top marketing news stories of this past week. And I'm going to let Matt start. Let's get into it. Well, recently, Amazon's director of payments, Patrick Godier. I think that's someone I used to know. Somebody. <laughs> <laughs> well, this Patrick Godier says that uh, voice shopping and search is coming down the field right now. And retailers need to be ready to handle it. Um, I just want to take this moment, and uh, if you can just, just kind of bring the camera in here. Jeff Bezos, I want to talk directly to you. I know that perhaps the divorce was tough, and you are feeling a little bit uh, financially set back. But as a father of two toddlers, please, for the love of God, figure out how to distinguish between adults and child voices, because I do not want to come home to a dump truck full of gummy bears on my front step. I personally would, but... Uh, I mean, I just don't want to see it on my credit card statement. Yeah, exactly. I'm excited for all of the Super Bowl commercials coming up. And Planners Peanuts' second Super Bowl commercial appearance in two years. Matt Walsh from Veep is in it, and he said the advertising team was improv-friendly and that there was definitely room to be playful, which sounds like it'll be a fun time. Sounds like they went nuts. And <laughs> do not... <laughs> And I always appreciated that I was able to have some improv classes in high school. And one of the key concepts was the idea of yes and. So you would always build on what the person said before you with yes and and not negate what they had said. Interesting. Yes and I'm assuming that's where you learned you weren't funny. Yes and fuck you. <laughs> a new study on brand trust revealed that more U.S. adults count on Hershey's, Cheerios, M&M's, Dove, and Tide to do what's right over nearly 2,000 other brands. Because if we're being honest, when I have a moral quandary, I always want my breakfast cereal to have the answer. <laughs> exactly. That's where I look. If Cheerios doesn't tell me what's <laughs> right or wrong. Been, we've been learning from the back of the boxes since we were like two. It's true. So we still look to Cheerios to tell us what to do. The Freedom From Religion Foundation ran a commercial during the most recent Democratic primary debate on CNN with member Ron Reagan. I think he's still trying to get out from under the shadow of his namesake. <laughs> he ended the commercial stating that He's not afraid of burning in hell. Wow. It felt like it was more of a challenge than a statement. All right. Anheuser-Busch announced that they are giving Minnesotans $1 off beer for every inch of snow that falls between now and March 20th. Hmm. <laughs> Frankly, I'm wondering, have you guys ever been to Minnesota? <laughs> Do you know what goes on between November and March here? There's a lot of snow. It, there really is. It's. it's I, I'm, I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure this is gonna work out for them financially. This is a hot story to watch, people. And uh, here to answer all of our burning questions is local cheap beer expert Chad, reporting in the field. So Chad, it uh, it looks like you're making the best of this big snowfall. <laughs> yeah. Getting slizzard in the blizzard, bros! <laughs> Woo! So, as we understand it, you're somewhat of a connoisseur of economy-priced beer. Is there anything you want to tell the people at home about getting the most out of this promotion? Oh, yeah, man. So this is what you do. You got to go into North Loop Wine Spirits over here, right? And then you go in, you get as much beer as you can, maybe bring a buddy or two, and you walk back out, put like a different jacket on or something, go back in. Man, you can probably get like 20 cases of beer. Oh, man, that'll last you at least like three days. <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, all right then, Chad. Um, last, last question before we let you go. It looks like you've got your hands full there. Uh, is there any information that you want to relay to Anheuser-Busch uh, if they were to see this, this report? Dude, Anheuser, thank you. I'm going to name my first born Anheuser. Best promo ever! Woo! Oh, man. We're gonna be at a full can of hams in no time, yeah! 
With that being said, I don't think there's anything else to say here. Nope. Thank you, Chad. And, always, always a pleasure. And thank you for watching the marketing update. And join us next week for the top marketing news stories of this next week. We'll see you.